one of the things that I think is attached to that that pricing conversation is is just the fear factor. It's like you've alluded to, right? They they, they feel that they're going to lose their clients, uh, and, and there goes the firm. Um, and, and and so there is a huge leap of faith that you have to 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 take in order for that to happen. Do you have any kind of sense about like okay, if I'm pricing things well, I should lose X amount of proposals. Maybe it's I should get one out of three or one out of two. Do you have a sense of like you shouldn't get every proposal that you put out there? No. If you do, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Yeah, and so we what we we have a we have a couple uh, customers who have, have have benchmarked this, and so what they say is it's near like a thirty percent rejection is what you'd like your conversion rate uh, should be around that thirty percent I should say. So that's that's where you that's the, sort of the sweet spot because now you're pulling in exactly like you said those clients that you like uh, that are seeing okay I will pay that price and so it's you 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 sort of you you've kind of hit your mark there so. As you be, it's not like it's just pure marketing, right? Like you know where in your funnel what those conversion rates are, and so you know how you're you've optimized, and so you can, and then from there you can test and nuance each of these things to see how far you can stretch that and where you can go. And yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, it's a really intelligent way of thinking about that that lead management. Yeah, and it's a continual process, right? Because next year the prices need to go up too. <laughs>